Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Bornali Bhattacharya. I'm a consulting pediatrician and the lungs of the asthmatic children in my practice is actually the heart of my practice. Now with the new term that's about to start, I thought how about making a video about the role of the school, particularly the class teacher in the life of an asthmatic child. According to WHO, the commonest cause of school absenteeism in children is bronchial asthma. Sometimes the teachers actually help in diagnosing asthma. And how does this happen? After parents, they are the other group of adults that sees a child for the long duration of time. So when they see a child who's frequently absenting or the child suffers with recurrent cold and chesty cough and that this cough aggravates while the child is playing or running or the child gets a little breathless on running, they know that this child is a little different from the others who just have a viral cold and cough. This is important that they sometimes bring it to the notice of the parents during the parents teachers meeting. Sometimes parents are in a little bit of denial and even if the doctor has mentioned that there is a chance of asthma and that this child needs treatment but they find acceptance a little difficult. But when it kind of gets reinforced by the teacher who might mention it to them that this is what is happening to the child and could they discuss it with the doctor or could there be a chance of something else than just a cold and cough you know their antennas go up and I have had parents who have actually come back to me and they said you mentioned it to us and we were wondering but once the teacher also told us uh, we thought that it's time to start treatment. Children and parents have this leaning towards teachers and they always believe that whatever the teacher tells them is for the benefit of the child. So the role of the teacher in diagnosing asthma. The other thing that I want to tell you, and this is for, for parents, is that do not conceal it from the school authorities, particularly from the teacher, that your child has asthma. Howsoever well controlled an asthma may be, we always tell you about the asthma action plan as to what to do if the child needs a reliever medication. Now the child is in the school for a long time. It is the parent's duty to communicate this to the teacher and also teach them how to use the MDI and a spacer the, with the reliever medication. You may have seen in the media or you may have read in the newspaper how there has been catastrophe and fatality because a child could not be delivered reliever medication on time. Another thing about the school is the location. Parents ask pediatricians because we are like family doctors to them as to how or which school to choose. Now if I know that the child is an asthmatic, I advise them not to put their child into a school which is close to the main road because of the high load of the diesel emission particles and also if it's close to an industry. A couple of times it so happened that Children, because there is this criteria now about distance from home and which school they can go, but the school that they could go to is very close to the highway and this is a very difficult asthmatic. I've actually written to a different school and with the letter saying that if this child could be accommodated in their school because if the school that this child goes to, which, which he's entitled to go to, might actually aggravate his health issues. And I must tell you how gratifying it was that the schools not only accepted it, but the principals actually called me to find out about environmental issues and the child's health, particularly in asthma. So remember that your child is no different from others when they are on controller treatment, but their disease has to be diagnosed. They have to be on the right treatment. They can play every game. They can participate in every activity. Do not make your child feel different because the teachers actually don't treat them differently. For them, it is another child 
which they need to care for. So it's a new term starting. All the best to the children especially and the teachers and of course the parents. An asthmatic child who comes down frequently with flare-ups also disrupts the family. And so see that you manage the asthma well. Let your teachers know. Choose a school judiciously and have a great new term. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope this was useful. Thank you.